everybody welcome to my channel um, if you're new here my name is Jessie and I do subscription unboxings uh, product reviews hopefully in the future and essential oil educational videos uh, today look what's finally here my very this is I'm very excited about this this is Cal L it's a fandom monthly box um, it's designed basically for uh, women who enjoy different fandoms um, there's a variety of topics and subjects. Um, I know they've done some of the uh, animated, um, uh, sorry, live action Disney movies in the past. They've done things like the Goonies. They've done, um, they did like last month was a space NASA theme. Uh, there's different themes each month. I'm really excited about this one. This is the first box that I've actually decided to subscribe and stick with. Um, I do get the confetti collection on a regular basis, but like you guys know, I, I won that in um, a Facebook giveaway. So this is the first box that I am buying for myself and have decided to continue with the subscription. Um, what I really like about it is she, the lady who curates the box, her name is Melanie. She will announce the theme ahead of time, and you're allowed to skip the theme for the month if you skip by a certain period of time, if you don't like the uh, theme. So that's great for me because I love fandom boxes, but I gotta like the theme. Like, I've never seen the Goonies. I can't stand those live-action Disney movies. Um, but this theme, however, I am enamored with. Um, this month is actually the August box. Uh, she was It was a little late getting shipped out. And this is my first month with them, but I really don't think that that's anything normal. Um, I, she said she was waiting on a pin to come in. I'd much rather, like, have all the products that she planned on. And, it, you know, as long as we know that it's running late, that's fine with me. I don't think it's a normal thing for this box to run late. Next month's theme is Hocus Pocus. I actually did skip that one. I, I saw the movie as a kid, but I wasn't, uh, you know, in love with it or anything. I haven't seen it in years. Um... But that box is actually already sold out. Uh, but anyway, this month's theme, dun dun dun, dun drum roll, is X-Men. And I really got into the X-Men. You know, growing up, I liked Superman and Batman. Uh, really, those were the only heroes that I knew of at the time. Um, but now that my, my, I met my husband and he really got me into all of the Marvel comics. Um, DC some, too. And I, I just really, really have really gotten into them. Um, I actually think I like the X-Men better than the Avengers overall. I mean, I love Captain America and Hawkeye, but the first three X-Men movies, I mean, who didn't love Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, right? And they were, they were really good. Um, full disclosure, I have not seen Dark Phoenix yet. That's the most recent X-Men movie that just came out. I actually think it just came out on DVD maybe the 17th of September, which is the day I'm filming this. Um, so this is perfectly themed. I can't wait to see it um, on DVD. I'll probably rent it. I know I heard it got bad reviews, but, you know, I'm, I'm not one to really go by reviews. I tend to have different opinions from most people. I know the last X-Men movie was Apocalypse. I wasn't a huge fan of that. It, but it wasn't bad. I mean, I, I really like the character Psylocke. Uh, she's that female that, that's kind of in the purple costume. She's got those um, baton-like weapons, and she also has a lot of psychic abilities. I really wanted to see her more and see her um, powers showed off more in the movie than what was actually shown in Apocalypse. But I, I digress. Um, so anyway, my favorite X-Men character is Rogue. She, her powers are amazing. She's awesome. In the original movie, she's played by Anna Paquin. That probably makes a huge difference for me. Um, and then I also love Wolverine. Regardless if it's Hugh Jackman or not, Wolverine is just a fantastic hero. He shows up in all the timelines. Um, my husband actually got me into reading the X-Men comics for a while. I read a bunch of X-Men. Uh, I they shift a lot around with the timelines of things in their comics, especially. I also watched some X or read some X Force, um, so I know a good bit about these characters, and I'm really excited. We uh, 
my husband and I play this Mar Marvel Legendary deck building game. Um, it's a deck building card game that has all the characters and tons of expansions. We, um, and we also used to play a Facebook game called Marvel's Avengers Alliance to play with him and some of my friends. They unfortunately stopped that game, but without further ado, I rambled on enough about my love for X-Men, so as you can tell, I'm really excited about this box. I did actually sneak peek into it because I was so excited for it to come. Um, so basically, I want to show you the cool artwork on this box. I'm just like, I'm so fangirling right now, but here's the artwork. Um, on this side of the box, at first you can't really tell, you just think, oh, it's a female, but then look at the detail. There's a lasso. There's some, uh, you know, wrist cuffs. And you see the bodies, and you're like, oh, that's Wonder Woman. That's awesome. Um, and because this is a female box, I get it. Uh, and of course, who doesn't love Wonder Woman? Her movie was definitely my favorite of the new DC movies. Um, and then of course this is, I would say, obviously Supergirl. Um, here with the cape. I mean, I guess if, if, you, if one argued, you could, I mean, none of the others really have a cape. Sometimes Dark Phoenix and Storm can rise up and fly, you know, with, something behind them, but it's not a cape, so this has to be Supergirl, in my opinion. Um, and then, of course, you've got, it's kind of like a diamond shape, because, you know, I think it's dual representation of it being a female-oriented box, and the fact that, you know, it's sort of like the Superman, Supergirl uh, shield, sort of, but diamond, and I just love that play on that. Uh, so let's get into this box. So this was actually packaged a little differently. Everything was wrapped up in this black tissue paper except for one card that's going to be at the bottom. I'll show it to you in the, in the end instead of the beginning, but I did get into this ahead of time. I just couldn't help myself. Um, the first item, this is probably what they were waiting for, and maybe I should take it out of the packaging, but it's a X-Men enamel pin. Um, and I'll definitely take it out of the packaging. I really like this pin a lot. Um, it's got the typical X-Men colors. I'm trying not to have it glare too much for you guys. Uh, it's got the X and it says X-Men, the red and the yellow. Um, and then it's got, of course, the backing. This is exciting. I mean, I was kind of hoping of a, for a pin over one of the characters, but that's totally okay. I mean, this is also very, very, very cool. So next I found this whole bag of like goodies. It looks like all the jewelry. Usually I think this box is known for having some jewelry and it's all in this bag and I'm so excited. Um, so let's take a look inside. Okay, these are simply adorable. They're little X-Men, just X, you know, they're X symbol earrings. Um, I'm not gonna open them because these are probably going to be my favorite items in the box. I just think they're so cute. But I don't wear earrings. I don't have my ears pierced. Um, here's the back is of them. So I, I probably will find someone to be able to give these to. Um, but I just think they're so cute. In last month's box, they had the cutest little astronaut earrings that I saw unboxed. Um, but I think she does a really job, good job think, picking out small earrings that represent the fandom. Um, Totally love these. Just don't wear them. So next we have this really cool necklace. Um, this is, of course, obviously Dark Phoenix. I mean, it's got to be, right? I mean, I guess it could theoretically be Storm as well because of the way she flies. But um, judging by the fact that we just had a movie on Dark Phoenix, I'm pretty sure it's her. Um, it's kind of, I'm not sure if it's really, I guess it's plastic. Or maybe some type of metal. Um, the chain is kind of thin. Not the best quality. But it, it definitely will work. And I'm definitely going to wear this. Um, I hope it's long enough. I think it will be. Uh, it's pretty cool. I love uh, Jean Grey. Dark Phoenix. She's. I can't wait to see the movie. I love her backstory. I uh, really think she's just an awesome complex character. Um, and I'm looking forward to learning more about her. She in the, in the new movies, she's played by Sophie Turner uh, as the younger Jean Grey. So that ought to be. She was good in Apocalypse, and I think she'll even be in, even better in this. 
All right, uh, we have a Beast keychain. This is so cool. Um, Beast is another one of my favorites. Um, in the original X-Men, the three movies, um, you know, he was played as the older Beast was played by Kelsey Grammer. I am a huge Kelsey Grammer fan. I love Frasier. Um, seeing him in the Beast was as the Beast was just an awesome, awesome role. But I love Beast too because in the comics especially, he's really got an intellectual side. And his origin story is pretty neat. Seeing him as a younger um, character, like developing his mutational powers in the other movies that they did. Or, um, blanking on the actor who plays him in the newer movies, but... It's really cool to see him. Um, this kind of, though, it kind of almost looks like a baby v beast, like, the, in the design. I mean, maybe it's just, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of, like, a Muppet Babies version of the Muppets or something, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, this might go in my purse. My last keychain just broke. Um, so it looks like it's got a little clasp at the top. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to push, but there's, like, a carabiner clasp, but then you could also probably just hook it with a, the classic key ring kind of hook. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so this is kind of, this made me laugh when I opened these. These are nail wraps uh, with different X-Men pictures on them. It's 100% real nail polish. 16 strips, fits all nails, lasts up to 10 days. Um, I've <laughs> I've only painted my nails once in my life back uh, when I was a kid and absolutely hated it. Um, hated the feel, hated everything. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about these. They do are removed with acetone, so I might wait until we have acetone just in case I can't stand the feel of them. But they are really cool looking. I mean, there's, um, looks like at the bottom there's Mystique. There's a Mar the Marvel symbol. There's that storm right there. There's the X-Men vault where, where um, Professor X goes in and uses, you know, that machine. There's Wolverine. There's another X-Men logo. There's, what's this? Oh, this is <laughs> King, of, King of Hearts. This must be for representing Gambit. Um, and this other one up here is cut off. But um, these are super cool. Uh, actually, I'll open these and see if there's other designs on the other side that we're missing. Alright, so glad I opened these. Sorry if they're really reflective, but uh, there's a whole new one list on the other side. Uh, there's just another X symbol up here. There's looks like what to be Cyclops' beam up here. Uh, here's Oh, there's Rogue. We have a Rogue. I think that's Rogue. Let me check. Uh, pretty sure that's Rogue. It could also be Phoenix. It's hard to tell. There's fire involved. There's X-Men again. And what's that one? Oh, it's too tiny. I can't tell who that one is. But, um... Oh, and we finally have Professor X. I was kind of sitting here like, where's Professor X? He's got to be somewhere. That's him. That's so cool. Um, and these would be really fun to wear while I'm filming, actually. So if you guys see these in future videos, like, don't be surprised, because that, that would, think of how fun that would be. All you guys see is my poorly taken care of nails, and occasionally a flash of a bracelet, so this, this could be pretty fun to film with. I should have actually put these on and filmed this video, but, you know, I wanted to show you too. Alright, this is another item I really, really like. I hope it's focusing okay. Uh, it's, again, very, very tiny. I wish it was bigger. Um, everybody's so tiny in here, but it's a ma I'm pretty sure it's a magnet. I don't have anything metal in here to test it out with, but it's looking, I mean, the back looks totally magnety. If not, it would be a sticker, but I'm fairly sure it's a magnet. Um, so, I'm going to see, there's... Oh man, I'm going to have to bring it up closer to me. I'm sorry to see y'all who they all are. Okay, well, I mean, I can kind of do it from a distance. There's definitely Cyclops up there with Jean Grey. And this is slash Dark Phoenix. But this looks like the newer, older Jean Grey here. This is more of like a classic X-Men from the original three movies with Hugh Jackman. Um, there's Storm up there, obviously. Halle Berry played her. She was awesome in that. Beast, of course. Um, Colossus. Is there. Um, it looks like there's a villain in it. 
There's a purple, big purple arm that's a villain. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not as good with the villains. For some reason, I like heroes better. Uh, but then there's Wolverine. Um, that's looking like Psylocke. Let me double check. Pretty sure that's Psylocke. Since they're so tiny. Um, Gambit here is on the side, definitely, with this brown coat. That's classic Gambit. There's one here I am not sure of. Um, honestly, it's too she's too small to tell. But hey, look, Rogue is Rogue's in here. Yay, Rogue represent. Rogue is hiding. So what hero am I missing? Whichever hero I'm missing is this one right here. It looks like the hero has black hair. Um, if any of you guys can tell, I'm trying to hold it as close to the camera as possible, letting it focus. Uh, I'll ask my husband. He'll probably know. Um, and, if, and when I edit the video, I'll add the name in if he can figure it out. Or maybe I can once I get some better light on it and take a culture. Maybe a magnifying glass at this point, honestly. Um, but yeah, bottom line is love it. Alright, so the last item in this box is amazing. It's really hard for me to show you guys, so I'm really sorry. Um, but it's a tote bag. Kind of nice canvasy material, strong. And it's got uh, Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters. And, of course, the big X in the center. I love this. Um, thinking about asking Melanie where who she got to design these. Sometimes she gets uh, she teams up with small shops who do fandom type uh, items and um, so I'm gonna see maybe she will I would love a t-shirt in this to be honest um, this would be an this would make an awesome awesome t-shirt um, so anyway this is one of my favorite items honestly my ultimate favorite is probably the earrings still even though I can't wear them um, but I can do a recap in a minute of everything in there all right, so this is everything in the box. I'm really, really happy with it. This is probably my favorite subscription box yet. If, maybe my all-time favorite that I've gotten so far. Um, again, we have the really cute X-Men earrings. Uh, the X-Men pin, which is also very cool, and I'll be able to wear this. The uh, Dark Phoenix necklace that I'll be able to wear. The awesome magnet that I'm sure will go on our refrigerator. We have a Deadpool magnet. I know we got a bunch of other really cool magnets um the uh sorry my husband just walked in the uh tv show that he wants to watch is on um but anyway i'm just finishing up so this really really cool magnet the beast um keychain and the nail wraps which you know what i might like more than i think i'm going to i think they're gonna be really cool uh Filming in them might be fun because they'll be ran I'll be filming random video other videos and just you might just see these and the canvas tote bag. So let me let me guys know. Let me know what you think of this box. Um, who's your favorite? If you like the X Men, who's your favorite character? Uh, what, which favorite movies do you like? Um, please no no Dark Phoenix spoilers if you can help it. Um, but other than that, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Please, uh, I hope that you will. Uh, like this video, comment, leave your thoughts, um, hit subscribe if you want to see more of my content, and I will catch you next time. Have a great day. Hey everybody, I'm back real quick. I know I just laid out and said, hey, this is everything in the box, but guess what? Remember that card I was talking about in the beginning? Well, I forgot to show it, and I'm really sorry. Uh, but this is the card. It's, it's just, it says mutant and proud. I really, really like this. Um, this actually reminds me of the uh, TV show that only got two seasons. Um, uh, the TV show was called The Gifted, and it was based on the New Mutants. Um, like, Magneto's daughter was one of the um, starring characters. Polaris is, was her mutant name. But anyway, uh, you know, there got to be the point where there was a lot of uprising and regular humans you know believing the mutants didn't believe didn't um belong so mutant and proud i mean all the x-men encountered this at some point i believe um you know because they were different from normal mutants mutants they had that x gene um so anyway this is just a really cool just 
artwork card. I'll probably display this somewhere. Um, so anyway, thank you again for tuning in and let me know what your favorite item is. I want to say one more thing about the what I filmed. Um, I kept mentioning Jean Grey, Phoenix, Dark Phoenix interchangeably. Um, I'm really sorry. Dark Phoenix is just the name of the movie that came out. Uh, the, the character's name, you know, the hero's name is Phoenix and her real name is Jean Grey. Uh, so I just wanted to clear that up. But anyway, thanks again, guys, and have a good day.